coming up right now it's time to settle the bronze medal in the compound women's team event shooting over the water here unique to shanghai but still a 50 meter range So we're right in the heart of the Central Business District here in Shanghai. And uh, here's how the teams got here. Uh, Turkey losing out to the number one team, Korea, in the semi-finals. And uh, Chinese Taipei, well, up against a confident USA, losing out in the other semi-final to bring us to this bronze medal match. And it looks like the teams are waiting in the wings. So without further ado, let's welcome them out onto the range here in Shanghai. Welcome Impact top row. Their competitors are Tommy number two. <laughs> representing Chinese Taipei. <laughs> Chen Li Zhu. <laughs> Hong Yi Zhou. Late Minting. <laughs> the lineup for this match is Shahazad Ahalayar. Well, there we have it. The lineup for this bronze medal match Turkey with Yesin Boston, Gizim Almagakli, and Ipek Tomruk. Chinese Taipei with lots of local support Chen Li Ju, Huang Yi Ju, and Lim Ming Ching. So here we go. It's time for the bronze medal match. Chinese Taipei shooting first on target two on the right hand side. They're looking down the range. It's a great way to start this match. A 10 is really what you need to get your team off on the right start. The sight are in the middle. Both teams will shoot six arrows, three at a time. And it's all about a cumulative score. Chinese Taipei starting with 29 out of a possible 30. How can Turkey respond? So she didn't look very happy with that shot, but uh, what you could see earlier was Yasim was talking her through the shot a little bit, and uh, I think that that wisdom and that experience really helps uh, your team. Good recovery. So a better start from Chinese Taipei and with the accumulative score leading by three after the first three arrows puts them in control of the match already. Surprising landing for that arrow. Uh, the shot didn't look super strong or confident but uh, a 10 is a 10. Oh. 
So Chen anchoring the team from Chinese Taipei. So Turkey looking for a maximum of 30 in these last three arrows of the first end and they'll still trail by one even if they score the maximum. Definitely better than her first arrow, um, but I think what she needs to, this team needs to do is definitely come back and really put a few in the middle, um, because only two points is is definitely you're you're able to make those points up, but uh, they want to close the gap. Well, we'll go to a measure here on that last arrow, marked up as a nine. But uh, it's all about the start, as you were alluding to, Mackenzie, and a great uh, start from Chinese Taipei, putting one right down the middle. Really nice, strong shot from Chinese Taipei, and then a, kind of a weak shot from uh, Turkey. But we'll see how they come back. You know, I, I think if they put quite a few in the middle, they can definitely ten, make up the deficit ten, that they got. Well, we can uh, hear the uh, target judge just calling out the scores there, but uh, it's all about whether that nine is going to get marked up for the Turkish team. So we can tell you that the uh, Turkish last arrow was marked up from a 9 to a 10. And uh, training by 2 going into the second end. A cumulative score, as you said, uh, means that a team can start to pull away, but just two points in it at the moment, still too early to call, especially with that first stray arrow from Turkey. Yeah, two points is definitely doable, um, but what needs to happen is Turkey needs to shoot some 10s and Chinese Taipei, Taipei needs to shoot some not 10s. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we go, the second end. Turkey trailing by two, will shoot first. Total of four ends here, and the score just keeps on building. <laughs> Looking a little happier with that one. That is definitely the response that Turkey needed to have going into this end. Yeah, perfect 30 for the first three arrows, and now it's about how Chinese Taipei can respond to the pressure being put down by Turkey. What pressure? longer of a hold there and resulted in just out nine so um, they gave Turkey back a point but we're, uh, we're gonna see how they finish up this first half. An average of about 20 seconds per arrow. <laughs> so 
So just dropping a single point to Turkey in the first half of the second end. It's taken an end for both of these teams really to settle into the high scores we're used to. Turkey just dropping their first point of this second end. Bit of time pressure there. Chance here to extend their lead after the perfect start from Turkey. Chinese Taipei can go ahead by three. Another 10 from Chinese Taipei, dropping just two points, uh, matching the score of the Turkish team and maintaining their two-point lead at the halfway stage. That's uh, much better shooting from Turkey, and I, I think that's the type of shooting that they want to have in this final. I think that one stray arrow that we saw in that first end was the only difference in this match to be honest well, we're going to get to see that here so this is the this is the last end and it kind of took an end for both teams to really settle into their stride and i've got to say of all the archers out there you see boston's got a very solid and confident uh, action when she's uh, drawing the arrow she's definitely been on a finals field before she's a, a very strong shooter um, and she's been on this circuit for probably the last four or five years and uh, so I think that she's definitely the, the more sage archer on this team. Well, here we see the, those tens at the start for the uh, Turkish team, but uh, matched by Chinese Taipei, a couple of tens in their first three arrows as well. But that nine, just uh, giving the Turks uh, a halfway point lead in the second end, they weren't able to capitalize. Still trailing by two, Turkey on target one will shoot first. start from El Magakli. Mackenzie, when you get into your sort of full draw, is there an optimal amount of time before you, you want the release? Is it is it, you know, one second too long and it's not going to be a great shot? It's extremely personal to each archer. I think we all have an internal clock of how long we feel a shot should go. And if it goes too long, you feel a little bit more pressure, your heart rate starts to go up. Um, so I think it's different for each archer. Well, Boston giving the fist bump there, but she didn't look happy with that shot. Opportunity again for Chinese Taipei to build on their lead. Ooh, definitely not what we've seen from Huang for the rest of the for the match she's been dead on and just random left eight <laughs> good 
Good recovery there. So both teams have dropped one arrow uh, across the whole match, but uh, at the moment, Chinese Taipei is still going to come out of this at the moment, looking like they're going to be leading going into the final end. That's what it looks like, but it's still just one point difference right now, so it's keeping it really close here. Nice, cool. So a couple of nines from Boston in that end. And another opportunity for Chinese Taipei to build on their lead. And just like that with one nine, the pressure's now on Chinese Taipei mm -hmm. to score two tens to keep the two-point lead. It's, it's crazy to watch these finals and see how quickly a lead can diminish. So, I, I mean, these guys are fighting for, for a medal right now. Well, another nine, and just like that, solid, consistent shooting from Turkey after finding their way through the first end means they're back on level terms with Chinese Taipei. And here we take a look at the uh, two tens they shot in that end. And the consistency is paying off. Well, they're having a little bit of a debate there. We couldn't quite hear in there, but it is consistency, isn't it, from uh, Turkey that's kept them in the match? Yeah, absolutely. We, they had one straight, one straight arrow that was in that first end, and then everything else has been pretty dialed in. One thing from uh, Yasim Boston is I'm seeing she's a she's got two in that end, two low left arrows. When I'm looking at the wind socks, that's where I'd be aiming as well. But I don't feel like there's enough wind out there to be aiming off. So I would be making adjustments or, you know, moving my sight, aiming in a different spot. Um, but we're going to see how, uh, how it all shakes out. We're all even. Yep. All even going into the final end. And Chinese Taipei on target two will shoot first as they did in the first end. I think they needed that 10 and that third arrow there because Turkey are uh, shooting more consistently in the 10 ring. Really solid shot to start off the, 
these arrows for a turkey. Great shot again. All about composure. Look at this solid action. She had a low left group, and then now she had a, a shot go high right. So I think she's just battling with her sight right now, but still good enough shooting to to create a one point lead for for the Turkish team. She's got two very clear, distinct actions. Yes, in Boston, uh, really nice to see. Very solid. But uh, Chinese Taipei here having to fight back, and I, I feel they're going to need tens. So a 10 to finish off means Chinese Taipei finish with 225, a potential 228 possible for Turkey. They can afford to drop a couple of points here. It's a good answer. Yeah, pressure on now though. Each one of these arrows comes with its own unique set of pressures. Quick shot there in the nine. A nine to win the bronze medal here in Shanghai. Yes, in Boston. Anchors the Turkish team. And she shoots a 10. A great finish for the Turkish team. They took an end to get into the match, and then they were just the more consistent team in the final three ends, and they've taken bronze here in Shanghai. Interesting match, wasn't it? it was all, we said it was all about a good start, having a good start, but the, the Turkish team weren't trailing by too much, and then they were just consistent in the final three ends. Yeah, I think the consistency is what helped them win this match. I think the not letting that first arrow define how they were going to shoot the rest of the match is really important. Um, I think Chinese Taipei had a few more arrows get away from them than they would have liked in this finals match, but I think that Turkey uh, came out and did what they needed to do to win this medal. Well, there we go. There are the Turkish team looking very happy with themselves. Trail by two after the first end, but Yassim Boston, Gizim Elmagatli, and Opek Tomruk are the bronze medalists here in Shanghai. Korea 